Hi everyone, it's Jojo. Today I'm coming on here to show you another idea with my bulb pins. Um, I got this huge bag. It has more in it than this because I've used up quite a few, but it is a huge bag. And I got that on Tamu. And the links for that will all be down below in my description box. Um, they were really cheap. Um, I couldn't beat the price. But I thought I would come on and show you. Um, remember when I was making the fabric flowers and I told you to hang on to your scraps? Well, one of the things that I like to do with my scraps and a few beads is to make some little dangles. So um, even the small scraps, even these, that looks like a little butterfly. So it just depends on how they're cut out to what they look like. Here's um, just a little fabric dangle that I've already made to hang off of a, you know, a book page. You can add link to it if you'd like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with orange. So I have some orange pieces here. Um, I have these like little rock beads. So I'm going to, if my grandma eyes will see these holes. I'm going to um, attempt <laughs> to put this on here. And then I like to take my um, my fabric and get some bigger pieces over here. So you can use anything that you want. You don't have to even trim it. But I like to take these and put them at like a little bit of an odd angle. See, I'm an enabler. I teach you how to use up uh, your tiniest scraps. But I'm just going to poke this on here and put me another, um, you know, couple pieces. I don't care that they um, they hang out at an odd, odd edge. That makes it even better. I'll put some stripe on here too. I'll just cut these down. Put this one at kind of an odd angle. I, I don't really want it completely even. It's just my preference. Let me put my little rock down there, my rock bead. I'll add another piece. Add one of these. Add another like little rock bead. And we can close it up and that makes like another little just an odd little dangle and if you remember in my last video I was showing you me using these shower curtain hooks to hang them off of so when I get these ready to go I will just hang them on here and then when I want something um, with my fabric I'll just um, grab one so let's see use this red i think i'm going to cut it this way maybe cut this at an angle right there so let's um i don't have a red bulb pen. Huh. I'm going to have to find some more, aren't I? So I'll use this gold one. And I'm going to put one of these little red rocks on here. Then I'm going to um, I like to put the bright color, the right side towards the outside, either way. So I'll just put this on here. I'm going to um, pick this up. I want to fold it at kind of an odd like angle just to give it some extra I think it just gives it some extra maybe texture um, it may not be the right word but it looks more I don't know kind of off that's what I like is the offset then I will hang this piece on here I think I'm going to 
fold it a little bit too. Just go up in that corner. Put that on there and let's cut this one. And see I take the bright side and put towards the outside here. And it doesn't matter how I hang it. Um, then add another little bead. If I can get it on here. It's me not seeing. And then I'm going to close it off. And if you don't like something on it, um, you go right up here and trim it down. And you can take your wire brush if you want to. Lay it on something. Don't do what I'm doing right now because these wires really hurt. But if you want to scruff these edges up, they will really scruff up. Just be careful with your hands. Um, don't do what I'm doing, okay? Make sure to put it down on something that will catch it. Because you'll hear me scream <laughs> if I poke myself. It's easy to do. Um, but there's another like little, little bling dangle with your scrap fabrics. I'll add it on here. These are cute, I think, hanging off of a, the side of a book. Um, you can coffee dye them if you want. I think I'm going to use the dark blue. I haven't done much blue. Um, I have like these little light, light blue rocks. Grab some of this blue fabric. Um, how do I want to cut it? It doesn't matter. I'm not picky. I just, um, I like the idea of these and they look so cute on different books. Um, I think I'm going to go with this like at an angle from that edge. And I'll do that one. Go this way. So it's, it's just up to you on how that you want to. Cut it or add it to, you know, add it to your um, bulb pin. But this way you're using these up and it doesn't feel like, I'll turn this one around. It doesn't feel like a waste, you know. Um, I don't like wasting anything. That's how I was brought up. Yeah, I kind of like this. I'll add another piece here. Um, I think I'll take this bigger piece. Okay, it went on there. And then another of my little and I will fasten it and again I'm going to play on the I don't like the way that those edges just kind of flop up there I can just clip those off and then just Some of this fabric doesn't fray as easy as the other. So if it's not going to fray easy, I'm not going to force it. Not, um, I don't have my mat in here with me. So yeah, I'm not going to force it on my, on my hand. Those are sharp as needles. But I think it's cute anyway. Um. We just have a little, like, blue dangle. Now with these, I might add more to them. 
um, when I get ready to hang them to my book. But, you know, even that's cute. So you can kind of imagine how cute they'll be off the side of a book. I'll do one more. Now I'm telling you to hang on to all this stuff, right? That's what I do as I just kind of hold on to it and I will show you other ways of <laughs> using your scrap if you're interested. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please click like and subscribe or, you know, shoot me a message and let me know what the, you would like to see on my channel. I'm trying to come up with um, videos that not everyone else has already done or doing. Let's see, I'm going to have... I'm not sure how I want to... I want to do these, but I don't want to think about it because if I think about it, it will be a disaster. Um, I like the odd shape of the stripes too, so I'm just going to cut those. Oh, look, I flipped that bead right off there. I'm just going to fold these. I don't make them even. That's what I mean by at an odd angle. Throw a, throw a piece of this on here. These are kind of different. See, I got that one going that way. I think I'll make it go this way this time. And I don't even have it lined up. And a piece of this. I like that. And then put another bead on here. Let me close it or I'll be flipping the beads off. I think I'm just going to cut these a little bit right there. Yeah, some of this fabric um, is easier to fray, but I think it also depends on the way that the cut is. I love it. The frayed up look. So there you have another one. And these are just grungy enough to look good. Look really good on the books. And they look really good hanging on the little shower hook. And then when you're working on a project, you can just reach and grab. Um, if you decided that you didn't want to hang a ball pin, then there's a little thing of fabric that you can grab and glue down to a cluster um, to make it quick. I just, I really like these. I think they turned out cool. So please like and subscribe and um, if there's something that you would like to see, please let me know. Um, one extra little tip. When I'm cleaning up my table, move all this over. I'll go through it better but this is a piece of fabric and I'm using this to keep the glare from the glass See, I got a glass table um, but I'm trying to keep that off of and out of the video so it doesn't bother anybody I have these crazy rollers um, lint rollers and I just um, roll it right up it just it's gone and then I can move on to my next project. But yeah, save your scraps. And we will be doing more with these scraps too as we go. I really have um, enjoyed using them. Even the um, threads, like your scrap threads. I will show you how I use these um, in a video soon. And this is all from Tamu. Like I said, the links are down below. Um, 
please like, subscribe, and check out Tamu. And if you order, you get a 30% discount. If you're a new um, new subscriber, new um, new to Timu, and they have some really awesome products. So, um, like I said, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and remember to be kind to one another. Bye bye.